An axe. I feel better with an axe. What now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here. I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Uh, anything? Oh, no, man, I think there's spiders in here. Be careful. Well, it's hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dead. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to help. Almost. Okay, too. That was good. We did good. A plus plus would buy again. Oh. Oh, damn. What happened? This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, though. The one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. I don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Look, fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <sighs> really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Look, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. Look at this bad 
boy. You're coming with me, buddy. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. You're all right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. If it doesn't work. What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe... We can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It, it'll be a little easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Where you step around here, Em. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. out there being creepy okay 